Museum to see it. See it all at him to swallow a hoe in arm and to eat to eat. The sauce to make it from us to him. To eat to eat. To eat to some to need UBC. To need to tumble it from us to him. Glock to see a winner. Triple Anno. He holds him all to. Cos he looks to the grenades. Not so much. Cos we eat to eat. He the egg when it's your winner, set to something, need to swallow. He heal up taller, the book all up, the keep we eat to eat, and now we'll eat hackness. Pierre, Michael Marker, collect once he's here taller, to swallow, the keep we eat to eat. I tap Ellis, the up, the Pierre, see it taller, he heal up taller. I just want to say thank you. For all of you that are gathered here today, here at Tithasum, the place of growing, to be part of the uh, journal launch. And thank you for coming and joining us today for this ceremony on behalf of the Department of Educational Studies at UBC in commemoration of our colleague, Professor Michael Marker. Here today to to remember Michael in a way, to call those memories back. Right. And I always remember Michael for his smiles, for his willingness to, to talk to, to us, cheerful, you know, with his music in his blood, you know, in his voice, but also in his heart and his desire to make this world better. A lot was through education, and he was an inspiration to us to, to come back to, to bring education back to the land. I also remember his smile and his, his, uh, his work around, well, he taught indigenous uh, epistemologies and, and methodologies and really encouraged us uh, to move beyond place-based education and to have a critical analysis around um, you know, well, how to be a good relative in somebody else's territories, how to give back. He was my um, PhD supervisor and inspired me to, to continue the good work. I want to thank the family also for being here today. It means a lot to every one of us. Decolonization was a goal right from the beginning for us as we embarked on this publication. In fact, it was the aim of the special issue uh, to build what Michael calls a, a home of deep purposes and deeper connections through our rigorous decolonizing related to exposing the persistence and, as he says, pestilence of technocracy and historical amnesia within schools, communities as a form of reconciliation. The articles of this journal honor not only Professor Marker's spirited scholarship, but the passionate spirit of Michael himself. His writings about the Fraser Delta, I found very moving. Um, being a resident uh, of this area for over four decades, um, there's a misconception among many that reconciliation is about retribution. Um, but through Michael's words, you could feel that togetherness, that it's not about retribution, it's about a coming together. Um, I think decolonization, the journey of decolonization won't be possible if um, people cannot find c common ground. And to me, um, Michael's work really inspired me in thinking about what does that common ground look like. And I had him as a, a professor and he really changed my perspective and how I understand myself in this world. Kinda, I kind of blame him also because I'm now enrolled in a PhD. <laughs> <laughs>
Michael was a folk singer and he was a writer of folk songs before he became a professor. Michael well understood the power wielded by those who write the dominant narratives and he also understood the subversive power of counter narratives, counter stories that are carried in indigenous oral tradition, uh, but as well in folk songs. loss innocence I lost the morning to an evening tide surrounded me with skies of ocean blue this is a song by Mike it's called Raking the Leaves Peace once more and I say it